Has anyone ever told you that you have to be there to experience it? This is your chance to give your kid that experience. My husband and I have been bringing groups with School Tours of America. We don't do it because it's a good company. We do it because it's a good family. My name is Cindy Billingsley. I'm an eighth grade teacher of U.S. History at La Paz Intermediate. I have traveled with School Tours of America for eight years. My name is Craig Bedveda. I'm one of the assistant principals at Gage Middle School, and I started uh, the trip to Washington, D.C. eight years ago. This trip, to me, reinforces everything that we as a school need to do, which is to educate our students, to give them a civic education, and it's always very rewarding for us as teachers to be able to give that to the students. Tammy McCullough from Vancouver, Washington. I've been doing a trip to Washington, D.C. and Williamsburg with my students for the last 22 years or so. I am pleased with School Tours of America, mainly because they take care of their parents, they take care of their students, and they take care of their teachers very well from start to finish. School Tours is owned and run by teachers and ex-teachers, so it's run by people who truly care about students and who understand what students need. Most of the representatives are not only teachers, but we're also parents. We're familiar with all the particulars of youth travel. The kids love the trip. They get to connect with their learning in the classroom, bring it to life. Watching their eyes open every, every year that I do this is amazing. It's one thing to read it in books, but coming here in person and seeing it is just completely different. It brings everything that you've ever studied alive. You get to actually visit the places, walking through the Library of Congress, going on the Capitol tour, just walking on the grounds that George Washington walked on makes everything so real. This was by far the best experience I have had so far. If you're the type of person who hates classroom settings, hates book work, hates long lectures, this is it for you. You walk around, you get nature, you get to see the sights, and it's, it literally puts a new spin on your history class. This is Ola King Clay. I teach U.S. history. Taking the kids to the site and seeing that enthusiasm and that love of history come to life. And when they say, I saw that picture in the book, those are the things that I love to hear and see from the students. Students are challenged to not only walk in the path of our founding fathers, but also to look forward to the new century and the impact that they can have. Seeing how Martin Luther King was able to get rid of segregation or Abraham Lincoln ending slavery, it encourages you to knowing that you could do many different things if you just set your mind to it. The towers we saw in New York, it was kind of a sad sight to see the waterfalls of the old towers, but it was also really cool to see the new towers being built right over them, kind of saying our country can be rebuilt and we're doing it like we had once before. Students return home from these trips better understanding the sacrifice of their ancestors and their own ability to make an impact on the future of this country. We came here to the Vietnam War Memorial and got to see all the names of the troops who served in the Vietnam War on this wall and it's just so great to pay your respects to everybody who served and who died or who are still missing. We have students that years later come up to us and say that was the best Thing in my life that turned my whole life around. I saw a reason for education. I saw a reason to get good grades. I want to be able to travel in the future. And to do it, I see I need to have a good education. And this was a good start. I've never really felt that my opinion really mattered. But here, I feel like a real citizen with a real voice. Many of my alumni still make contact with me. What they remember out of the eighth grade is basically the trip. Some of them went to NYU, Columbia, Georgetown. So a West Coast population now seeing the East Coast and wanting to go and see the rest of the world from that point. This tour offers so many light bulb moments for the kids. For one thing, it's their first time away from home. They're traveling with their friends, staying in the same room, budgeting their souvenir money, and paying reverence to the memorials they visit. 
it felt like I had a, a big group of 65 children of my own that, you know, to watch them like blossom and really enjoy it and to see the looks of awe and the, the crest questions they've come up with at different places because it was just fascinating to them. New York is awesome, especially because of their food. There's Chinatown and Chelsea's Market and Little Italy. Everywhere you go, you're gonna find something awesome to eat. I don't think there's one place that I went that I wasn't happy. It was awesome. Yeah. New York was so much fun. We got to see Broadway shows and go shopping on Fifth Avenue, go to Central Park, all these things that I've heard about but never got to actually experience. Everything here is just so beautiful and I really like learning from all the tour guides because they're so passionate about what they teach. Our guides are extremely knowledgeable in history, but what's most important is they know how to connect with students. Most of them are either retired teachers or they're historians, maybe even retired military. One of the guys that I have graduated from Columbia University and is in the process of writing his second novel. We have off-Broadway and Broadway actors that do this on the side. By the time the students are with them for an hour, they're eating out of their hands, wanting to know more about New York and wanting to be part of everything, asking them hundreds of questions. If you're the parent trying to decide if you should send your child on this trip, this isn't a vacation. This is an investment in their future. This will change the way they view the world. It'll change the way they view themselves. I think that was a big opportunity for me. It was really life-changing, actually. I felt a tiny bit of empowerment in just being able just to walk up to the Capitol. My name is Brad Fickett. This has been a trip of a lifetime. There's more memories made on this trip than you could imagine. I've seen more things in just a few days than I could ever see on my own. I have enjoyed this so much and more importantly my son has enjoyed this so much. This is just an incredible trip with an incredible organization and it is well, well worth it. We never spend a lot of time on the road. We don't waste our time. The money's well spent. Parents have been very happy and very pleased with everything they've done and seen on the trip. From the time you wake up to the time you go to bed, there is always something to do. You will never be bored. I'm Jennifer Richmond from Vancouver, Washington, and my three boys came on the Washington, D.C. trip this year. I would highly advise all parents to send their children on this trip. It's full of education. It's very safe. I've been um, impressed with our tour guides, our bus trips, I was impressed with the restaurants and our hotel and the monuments and the kind people of Washington DC. So I would highly recommend this trip to all students. When you bring your groups, each student is covered by our own private insurance. And when you're here, we have access to doctors. They can travel to the hotel or to the tour bus. I've had students get sick. I even had to take a student to the hospital. Everything was covered. There's no problem at all. Your group's comfort and safety is our top priority. School Tours of America wants you to feel safe and they want your group to feel safe. So they have security that arrives on the floor at 10 o'clock. They make sure that the kids are in their rooms from that time until breakfast. The security keeps track of everything. In the morning I get a minute by minute report I want your parents to know that myself and my guards take this work very seriously. We hope that through our efforts, you as a parent would feel better about allowing your child to come visit us. This was one of the best trips I have taken with students. The activities were great, the accommodations were wonderful, the food was good, kids were always safe, it was very educational, they learned a lot. My advice to you? Sign up for this trip as soon as you can. I loved going to the museums because they made history fun. I really learned a lot on this trip. Another thing that I really like about school tours is that they have an innovative fundraising platform where students can go onto the website and they can create their own page and help get fundraising from relatives, companies. We were fundraising about six, a little less than six months. We did sponsorships, requesting sponsorships. We did gift wrapping over Christmas, movie nights, and anything else we could think of <laughs> to, to raise money for the kids. I didn't have enough money for the whole trip, but I knew I could afford the registration fee. 
and then I could work hard enough to earn enough for the rest. The website helps you raise money for the trip. You get to do a service project and find sponsors, and you really can earn enough if you try. My tour fund is the reason I'm here. Without it, I cannot afford to come here. I am grateful for my tour fund. The one thing I consistently hear over and over is that this was the best week of my life. I loved every part of it. I, I can't wait to go home and show my grandma and my grandpa the things that I've seen and the things I've learned that they've told me about, but I never really connected it until I came and saw. Words can't even describe what that trip was like. And after I went, I came home and told my younger sisters how great it was, and now they're excited to go. And it's just something I would recommend to everybody. And I, I can't thank my parents enough for sending me on the trip. Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free. Ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. Let the word go forth that the torch has been passed to a new generation of Americans. We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Let me assert my firm belief that the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. It's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. I have a dream that my poor little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. The energy, the faith, the devotion will light our country and all who serve it. And the glow from that fire can truly light the world. <laughs>